I didn't anticipate that. Um, if you decide that you really have to have this water pipeline as part of your environmental study, look at the carbon footprint. Look at the expense. Look at what happens in an emergency. And look at what happens when you turn the water off because people can't pay it. That becomes a public health issue that we'll have to deal with in another way. And if you really need this pipeline, make it public, not private. Nancy Savastinovich of Kutchog. I'm really not prepared, but there's a few things I think that might be interesting in this whole process. The huge condo project in Kutchog, if they get site plan approval, they will be pumping a lot of water. And in their file, it says, when we receive site plan approval, then we'll give you the water. So that is all of our water. I'm concerned with our water as a whole town. I like my well water. I don't like chlorine. They j I've done studies now that it causes cancer. So I just want the town to be broad-minded. And this water authority is really a problem. And when they came down Pequash, they destroyed the road. It's like going down a, I don't know, a back farm field that I, I love farms, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> and they don't repair it. They, the town comes and repairs it. It's a cost to our town. I see them all the time coming down Pequash with tar of our town expense because the Suffolk County Water Authority ruined our streets. And please be very broad-minded on this because there's only a limited amount of water in our town. Riverhead doesn't want to sell their rights to, for the Water Authority to go through them to get to the Pine Barrens. That's a given. They are pumping now from Riverhead, but they don't want them to come through there to get the big source of water. So when they keep pumping, we will run out of water, which has already happened in Shelter Island and that Suffolk County Water Authority had to truck water into Shelter Island. So it's already happened there. We have to be really comprehensive while well, we're doing the plan, but I think it's going to take too long because these guys are really pushing for this. Maybe we should call them Sarah Palin. Drill, baby, drill. OK, thank you. <laughs> that would be Obama now, drill, baby, drill. Yeah, that's right. Would someone else like to address the town board on this issue? Does the Water Authority want to get up and respond? I, what I would what I would do is actually ask you, and I I, I recognize the nature of this meeting is, uh, but I'm gonna I would like to ask questions if you'd come up, so we can get some questions answered. For this is a this is a meeting about gathering information. I'm trying to get some information, um, but I, I realize the contentious nature of this whole issue. But I'm asking everybody. You've been very polite, and I appreciate it. We just want to continue with that. Uh, first of all, um, you know one of the issues with the 12-inch water main is the potential for future service. And if that's what you're looking to do, obviously it makes sense to put a 12-inch main in. Uh, there's a canvas uh, that we had raised at a town board meeting, uh, the idea of 700 homes in Orient. And the issue is if you're going to bring water because of the potential for them to hook into it, have you canvassed the 700 homes to see if there's any, even any interest there. I know the Environmental Facilities Corp was concerned about local interest or local support for the project. I was wondering if you went to those homeowners who we are uh, proposed a service and see if that they've responded in any affirmative way. Yes, we went to the uh, homes that are a subject of your local law. Okay, that means uh, only the 144. That's correct. Not the no, seven. And, uh, when I was here at the last town board meeting, that was what I was asked to do, was to survey the people along the pipeline to oh. see if they were interested. Yeah, well, I was the one that asked we, it, and I thought could, you, could, you, sh you needed to do both, because well, you have 700, the potential for seven, if you're bringing a four-inch main to service Brown we, Hills, I would suggest we have no, this we have no canvas, plans. the 144, but when you're proposing the 12-inch, you might want to think about asking the 700. Those are the potential customers that that, that water is coming uh, for. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> My name is Tim Hopkins. I am general counsel of the Suffolk sure. County Water Authority. We don't have any current plan to supply any other area other than that main. If you would like us to survey the rest of Orient, we'd be happy to, service, uh, to survey and service the rest of Orient if that's what the people want. Okay. What was the survey, at least for the 140 that you, you did? Um, we had we sent out 137 surveys. We had uh, 40 total residents respond. 30 indicated that they were interested in hooking up. 17 immediately, and 13 in the future. 
out of the, out of that population, 10 requested water samples. Of the 10 who responded that they were not interested, now or in the future, six provided their names and addresses, four did not. Out of the 10 not interested, two made additional comments that they were against the installation itself. So in total, it was about a three to one in favor of the installation.